Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, I recently came across a neat little solution to tracking weather balloons, but not only tracking their location, but making it super easy to go and retrieve one that's burst and fallen to the ground. Now, in the past couple of weeks, I've been testing this software, but unfortunately, none of these balloons have landed anywhere near my location. But you may have better luck if you want to give this a try. Now, a really good website for tracking weather balloon launches and location is this one. Now, it gives a prediction of when and where they will burst and even a location where they might land. However, as there's so many variables which can alter its predicted landing spot, the solution is to use one of these devices and an Android tablet running some special software. Now, this device is actually designed as a LoRa transceiver. However, with a specialist firmware, which is free to download and install, you can use this to track weather balloons. Now, the packets of data that comes from weather balloons includes its GPS coordinates, as well as all the other weather data. So if you're in the vicinity of a burst weather balloon, you'll be able to locate it rather easily. Now, the MySondi app runs on the Android tablet, which is free to download from the App Store. Now, it communicates with the LilyGo board via Bluetooth, so there's no cables to worry about. All you need to do is have some form of power for the LilyGo board and an antenna, which is capable of receiving around 400 megahertz. The app allows you to choose the receive frequency and the type of balloon transmitter. Now here in the UK, I've mostly seen them using RS-41 type. Now, if you're wondering about the frequency in what to set it to, I'd recommend keeping an eye on the website for launches. And if there's one that is predicted to land near you, then you can grab the frequency and type of transmitter from the map pin callout like this. You just need to enter that information into the app, which then programs the LilyGo receiver. Now here's me tracking a balloon while at home, just using an outside antenna. Of course, you could use something like a ham radio antenna for 70 centimeters on top of your car or any antenna that's tuned around 400 megahertz. The flashing yellow dot is your current location and the flashing dot at the bottom is the balloon that you're tracking. Of course, it could be anywhere else on the map, but it should have that line between your location and the balloon. Now, the idea here would be that you wait until the balloon has burst, which you can tell by the altitude dropping rapidly. Then you would jump in your car with this setup and then try and locate the balloon. Now, when the balloon is on the ground, it will still be receiving GPS data and transmitting its location, assuming that it hasn't landed in a river or lake or even been damaged upon impact. But assuming that it's still working, the transmission reach will not be that far because, well, it'd be laying on the ground. And this is where this solution comes into play because you can drive around the predicted landed spot until you pick up a signal which should then show you its precise location on a map on your tablet. Now, further information and a manual for this software can be found on the website. Now, I'll leave a link below so you can go and check it out. You can also download the special firmware that needs to be installed onto that Lily Go receiver. Now, instructions are pretty easy to follow and installing the firmware only takes a matter of seconds, but it's always best to check the website for the latest firmware and procedure just in case supported devices change or are added in the future. Anyway, guys, something different for the channel, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you want to go and give this a try. I'll leave a link also to this Lily Go device just so that you make sure that you get the right one. Until the next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.